This one keeps taking off and stopping. Oh, he, he got me under something. Get out of there, please. Go in after this one, too. I feel him on there. A water rat. They don't call me water rat for nothing. Get out of there. Come on, get out of this one, too, please. I beg of you. He's on there. Oh, here he comes. Oh my god, he swam me under all kinds of crap. Alright guys, since the last video didn't show up very well, or at all, on the way out from this spot, I figured I would show you going into it so you guys can see what I was talking about. I got about an hour and a half or so of fishing to do before it gets dark uh, we will be using corn again we're going to target some carp and some bullheads and channel cat today so I got corn uh, night crawlers and then I brought my bass stuff I got lipless and blade baits and buzz baits and I got some crappie tubes and jigs and stuff like that. I want to try a little bit of everything, but I really want to get up here and get into the channel cats. This little pocket of water right here gets really deep. But they, like I said in the last video, which you couldn't see, but they drive four by four trucks and uh, four wheelers and dirt bikes and all kinds of stuff all through this area it's a lot of fun but there's a lot of freaking trash back here and but we're gonna get up here and get some lines wet and hopefully catch something If you have not seen the last video that I was here in, go back and check it out. That would be uh, greatly appreciated. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to walk up through here. We're going to go out here on this one point again. Man. I do wish I had a truck. Maybe one day. I'm gonna move up to our our spot here. So I did all that in the dark last time, so that was kind of fun. But I fish here all the time, so. Oh, sounds like there's somebody coming back here now. We'll see if he comes back. Sounds like he's coming back here. It's definitely a truck. This is all overgrown now and crap. So. Freaking people leaving their worm containers and corn and trash everywhere. And that's how people are not allowed to fish anywhere. And that's when you get no fishing sign and all that crap all the time everywhere. So people pick up your stuff. Even if you come in to a spot and you see trash, take some of it with you. Yep, he's back here now. Old Dodge Ram. So, yeah, I only brought four poles today. Well, only, but God dang it. They got freaking fishing line everywhere. These geese are all over the place. Like, people, come on. I 
This is ridiculous. Get all that crap. Looks like he's over there, might be getting some bait. Oh, goodness gracious, people. But we're going to put all this in here. Put all this in here. Not really worried about the dirt. And we're going to take that out with us. Hey, look at all this crap. Fishing line. Fishing line. Freaking metal. Freaking sinker box. I don't even know where the heck this is going to. There's another freaking fishing line. There's a can of corn. Like, this is ridiculous. This feels like braided. And you wonder why people can't fish anywhere anymore. Because of crap like this. But hey, whatever. Well, not really, but. So I'm gonna get some baits ready to go and I'll see you soon. I've been throwing all kinds of jigs and lipless and so I'm getting a bite on this one, see if he takes it. I think this is my night crawler one. Got him. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Decent anyway. Get out of them trees. Channel cat maybe. What are you? Tighten it down. It looks like a freaking huge world record yellow belly. It's a freaking carp. Just kidding. Could be good catfish bait right here, buddy. But, hey. We got him. That's a light colored carp, too. Dang, he's all marked up. His fin's all messed up. Hey. Give me that back. Thank you. And right, now knock it off. Knock it off. Look at his fin all split up. He's been beat up. A bunch of marks all over him. Knock it off. There ain't nothing big, that big, well, that I know of that'll try to eat him, so I don't know. He's just a little guy. He might be a pound. Ah, this one's going too now. Hold on. Damn. This one just took off. Got him. Ah, come on, dang it. There he is. Oh, he's just a little bluegill. He's put, I don't know, what is this? Yep. Bluegill. Took that worm and jig head and took off running. He's pretty. See him in the sun. I don't know if you guys can catch it. It's like a pearl 
teal color. Let's let him go. This one's getting hit now. Sun's going down. Oh, I got him. Tighten this up a little bit. He's swimming right at me. Freaking bullhead. Big boy. Why do you guys constantly swallow him? No. Let's see if I can get this out. I got him. Get out of my line. Probably bluegill. Yep. First one today. Good size one. Let him go. This one's running. Let's see if he can. Oh, I got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, big old bullhead. Jeez, a peach. Here we go. That's what I like to see. Big old boy. Oh well, we'll cut the line. We got plenty of hooks. There's a bullhead. I got my scale. Let's see how much he weighs. See, I'll just go underneath this. You gotta get right there in the gill plate. 0.27 pounds. Hold still. Hold still. I'm gonna get you off of there, buddy. There he goes. Adios. Let's get another one. I just went to switch my bait and I got a fish on here. Not sure what it is. Ah, bullhead. He's a bigger one. Yeah, look at that chunky thing, boy. Golly. He's definitely going to be the biggest one today. Hey, knock it off. Easy. Can't see where. Ow. Now, oh, cut that line too. Look at that belly on that son of a gun, boy. All right, what was the other one? 0 0.27, 25, 27, I believe. 0 0.57, bullhead. <laughs> That's freaking. That's massive. 0.57. Goodness gracious. Big old boy. Let's let him go. Adios. Let's get another hook back on and get back out there. This one keeps taking off and stopping. Uh, he, he got me under something. Get out of there, please. Go in after this one too. I feel him on there. A water rat. They don't call me a water rat for nothing. Get out of there. Come on, get out of this one too, please. I beg of you. He's on there. Ah, oh, here he comes. Oh my God, he swam me under all kinds of crap.
Okay. He's all the way out there. Get out of here. Let me get this stick off my line. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, he's a big one. Ah, oh, what the heck? There we go. I got it. Oh, that's a carp. A good sized carp. Walking right in here. He's out walking my carp. <laughs> He swam me under all kinds of stuff. Still got him. Ah, come here. All right, well, I'll just boat flip you. Come here. This is obviously gonna be the biggest fish of the day so far, but we'll get a measure on him, or measure. We'll get a weight on him. Oh, it's in my pocket. Put him right through the gill again also. Ah, it's locked. Dang it. Okay. 2.51 pounds. Let's let him go. Oh, go a little bit deeper for you, bud. And put him on this drop off ledge. There we go. There he goes. Thanks for the splash. It's been fun playing with you. All right, let's get this back in the water and get another one. They're starting to turn on now. I like it. This one's getting ready. This one is taking off. Ah, oh, he's up underneath this trap. Gotta go in the water. Oh, he's big. He's a big one. Oh, another carp. Come here. I thought it was a yellow belly at first. Just a little baby carp. All right, all right, all right. Boat flip. Let's see how much he weighs real quick. I'm freaking muddy as heck soaking wet but most important thing i'm having fun easy okay okay i'll get let me get this on you real quick so you want to go up through the in between that gill plate and goes right into their mouth well if he holds still there you go Oh, still. I don't know. All right. 1.38 pounds. Low carp. Becoming a headache. There you go. Adios. Let's see if we can get this one this time. Ah, oh, I got him. He's swimming way out there, too. What is he? Probably a carp. He's swimming right at me. Okay. Yep. Nice. Come on. Oh, yeah. here you gotta look good first photo shoot i forgot ow that was the hook jimmy come here all right right to the nose instant bleeding this guy's got some ah he's crapping all over me i got the crappy end of this catch well, 
I don't know if that was crap or, uh, you know, who knows? It was fun catching him. Let's see what this one is. Knock it off. Hey, you bit my bait, not me. Hold still. One, two, five. Dang, that one's going off too. Here, gotta go. See you later. I got him. I went to check my bait and he was on there. Another hog freaking yellow belly. It's not gonna be the biggest one of today. Cut the line again. I had a bigger hook on there. And then when I checked my bait, it would be gone, but there would be no fish. I wouldn't get a hit or anything. Yeah, he's not 0.54 pounds. How many that is? Four or five yellow bellies, four or five carps, a couple bluegills. See you later. Thanks for playing. It was fun. I want to hit this one. I think I got him. I feel him on there. Might have to go in. Wrap around all this crap. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Get out of there, please. There he is. Oh my gosh. This might be even a pound. <laughs> These things are freaking huge. Gosh. Look like mini shovel head, but they're not. God, I really wish they would freaking stop swallowing the hook. Let's see how much this one is. What was it? Uh, where did I put my scale at? in my pocket so the biggest one was oh, 057 I believe get under that point six one pounds <laughs> These things are free. Oh, he's got a marking on his little tail. Hey. Hey. So these are like any other catfish. What was the final number? 6 1. But look at that. He got trapped under something or something. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry. You see on his tail, big old gash out of it somehow, but 0 0.61 pound yellow belly bullhead. He's probably gonna bite me, but that's all right. Massive. Thought I was gonna have to go in after him. See you later, buddy. Just tying this, tying the hook on, and I see this one taking off. Ah, oh, I got him that time. Feels like he's under something though again. No way, come on, please stay on. There he is, okay, he's on. I caught up to him. Oh, he might be a stick. No, that's not a stick. That's a fish. That's a fish. Swim right to me. Another carp. Another carp. He's smaller than the other one I can hit. You clean you off for your photo shoot.
Come here. Yeah, I just happened to look over there and seen the line peeling off the reel, off the top of the water, I should say. Let's see what he is. Let's lock him in there. Hold still. It's your photo shoot. 1.10. So what was the last one? 1.15, I think. I have to go back and check, but I think he's the smallest one. Well, smallest carp. Thanks for playing. See ya. I went to check on this one, and it's got a fish on there. Probably, oh, this is a tiny yellow belly. This is normal. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Come here, come here, come here. This is normally the size that we catch here. That wouldn't even move the freaking scale. These are great, great shovelhead fishing bait. Two point one ounces. <laughs> oh goodness! But this is the size we normally catch out, out this way. There are some massive, massive yellow bellies that is eating good in here, and you've seen it today. A few ones I caught. Sweet. All right, everybody, we're going to end the video there. It's a muddy mess. Got to give myself time to get out to my truck in the daylight, as you've seen in the intro. It's not an easy task, and even when it's not flooded, it's not. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this video. I'm freaking drenched, muddy. Camera had mud on it. I looked down. Hopefully, I don't have to cut out too much of the fish I caught. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up a half a second i greatly appreciate you guys watching comment below uh what you want to see from the channel uh, i'll try to get as much as uh i can done so greatly appreciate it again for taking the time out of your guys' day to watch my video my video my video and support me um it means a lot it really does i know spencer bauer from river certified he would love this spot with all them bullheads slash yellow bellies that I was catching today. <laughs> he loves fishing with them for shovelhead. I love fishing with them also, but not going shovelhead fishing, so I can't keep them right now. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I'll see you on the next one.